Hey, this is Wes with Airstream Wanderings. Thanks for joining me today. I have two things. One, I have matches, and the other, I have pottery. That can only mean one thing, that we're going to start a fire, and we're going to fire some pottery. Wish me luck. I've started a fire to preheat the pottery and also to build a bed of coals. So you can see the pots that I have. This is all greenware. It was all made in the traditional uh, Native American fashion with uh, coil forming. All of this clay was dug in Arizona and all the paint uh, was sourced in Arizona as well. But the big goal here is just to see if we can fire these pots uh, and hopefully they don't break. Last time I fired pots, I had a fair amount of breakage and I'd like to avoid that this time. And I think the key may be to preheat the pots as much as I reasonably can. So I'm really taking my time to build a good bank of coals and to get the pots as hot as I reasonably can do it before I start the main fire. I have an infrared thermometer and I've tested the pots and they've preheated to roughly 350 to 450 degrees so they're pretty warm. My fire has burned down so I'm going to get things ready to have the main fire and see what we can do to fire these these pots. All right, the uh, pots are stacked up on hot rocks and what I tried to do is create enough airspace for the heat to rise up but also to protect the painting on the pot so it doesn't smudge too bad with the carbon smoke. We'll see what happens. fire is going great very hot and at this point there is nothing we can do but pray to the fire gods well the fire is actually starting to slow down a little bit it is Plenty hot, I think. I haven't heard any pops crack. So we'll cross our fingers. I use a couple of aluminum plates to uh, cover the pots and they have melted. So that was a bad decision. It is starting to slow down a little bit. I think as the fire goes, that was successful. Whether the pots are successful, that is an entirely different story. I want to make sure that it has a good chance to soak and that the clay gets uh, baked all the way through. Alright, we can see pots in there. So far, so good. Let's see how hot they still are.
6.42, at 700, I used some aluminum plates to uh, kind of protect the pottery, I didn't realize the fire would get so hot, but you can see right there that the uh, Aluminum pot just melt or aluminum plate melted right over the pot. Whether that'll come off or not, I'm not sure. Who knows? Maybe it'll have a good effect. As long as we have a fire, we may as well make some coffee. Here's what we have. Looks to me like there's a crack, and that's a pookie there. Made it mostly just to protect pots. There's the other pots. There's another crack on the top of that pookie. But uh, the other pots. Now, too early to claim success. We'll see. Here are the two aluminum plates. They are now aluminum ingots. That tells you how hot the fire got. I'm not sure what the melting point of aluminum is. But the good news is it did not stick to the pottery at all. It peeled right off, so no problem with that. So here's what we have so far. This uh, polychrome bowl. Looks like it turned out okay. Rings pretty nice. A couple little uh, fire gods. They're black, but I think they'll clean up. They seem to be okay. This little pot here, I think that's okay too. Uh, so that's good. The uh, pookie, not so good. It obviously broke, but the paint on it turned out fine. So I'm happy with that. That was just another experiment. And then the last pot over here, near as I can tell, that turned out too. It's kind of a clunky sound, but I don't see any cracks. So as far as I know, it's okay. Good day as far as I'm concerned, and now I get to have coffee. Now this is very well cooked coffee. You know, when you're outside, you're not going to complain about getting coffee. I am pleased with the way things worked out today. Brought four different things, three of the four turned out fine. And so the firing was good. I certainly enjoyed making the pots and painting the pots. And so this gives a little bit of encouragement to uh, do a few more things. So I'm excited to uh, get started again. This has turned out to be a great day. I mean, how can it go wrong when you're out in a nice park like this in the woods? You build a fire, fire some pottery, and that turns out good. The sun is shining, it's warm, make a pot of coffee. I just cannot complain about anything. So thank you so much for joining me today. This is Wes with Airstream Wanderings. So until next time, I wish you health and happiness, peace and love. Take care. Bye-bye.